Hi. At the Bridge Summit this year, we presented 16 societal challenges, um, representing a little over a billion euros per year in societal or business opportunity value. Um, we then had that as a foundation for the markets session, where we gathered uh, some hundred professionals from different organizations to workshop and spin new initiatives around these challenges. These are the challenges. Challenge number one, solid waste to energy. In Sao Paulo, uh, the state of Sao Paulo, they have a need to actually take care of 500 tons of municipal solid waste and turn it into electricity, heat and uh, methane. Uh, and if someone can do that, 500 tonnes per day, that would represent uh, an annual contract revenue of approximately 11 million euro. Challenge number two. In Bangalore, they are looking to turn household waste into a valuable resource for energy or, or recycling. So basically uh, inventing a business model that makes household waste a valuable resource, predominantly for, um, for uh, resident welfare associations. Uh, this challenge would be worth something like 2 million euros per year. Yeah. Challenge number three. Garbage collection in Lusaka City, Zambia, is a great problem. Uh, not only are the landfills full, they're also blocked, which means there's garbage lying around the streets uh, these days. That is uh, both an environmental risk and a health risk. So they need to find a new solution to collecting and transporting, sorting uh, garbage and turning it into a valuable resource. If someone can do this, it is estimated to a million and a half in annual uh, societal value or contract value. Challenge number four, from waste to resource. Uh, outside Malay city in the Maldives, a uh, small atoll, beautiful atoll used to be, uh, Thila Fushi, has now turned into what is uh, commonly known as Garbage Island. They accept 330 tons of solid waste per day and uh, it's basically uh, an island full of garbage. They are now clearing and have running a project clearing parts of the island to put up equipment that can process the rest of the garbage on the island, thereby turning it into a sustainable situation. Anyone who can do this, uh, there's an open uh, procurement plan of about 35 million euros. Uh, going on right now. Challenge number five, smart transportation for the millions. In Bangalore city they are uh, looking to expand the, the public transportation uh, offering from today till until 2025 they are offering uh, affordable and environmentally friendly transportation for 10 million more people than today. And affordable means uh, a fare of about uh, one euro from A to B. They plan to do this by using electric cars, electric scooters, electric uh, most everything, uh, and combining this into uh, an overseeable or easy to use uh, customer experience through a smart digital system. Anyone who can do this uh, or offer services to do this would uh, uh, be looking into a, a business proposition or a, a business opportunity worth 500, 500 million euros per year. Challenge number six, turning old mines into new gold. It's not just a Western Cape issue, it's uh, throughout South Africa. They have some 6,000 mines that are not used and needs to be closed down in an environmentally friendly and hopefully also sustainable for the community way. Um, there are risks of con contaminating groundwater, there are risks of actually turning into old mines, turning into sinkholes, uh, just uh, taking whole communities with them into the ground. Uh, so there's a huge 
plan for South Africa and to, to actually close down mines in a sustainable way and there's uh, public grants uh, to value of or at least uh, estimated liabilities for the government of 2 billion euros if uh, this can be done in a, in a sustainable and, um, and good way. Challenge number seven. Uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida, there's problems with the private homes piping. Private homes own the, and are responsible for the piping from the home to the municipal system, the street. And, and if this is uh, old and obsolete, it will leak black water or grey water into the rainwater, thus overloading the municipal uh, purification system. So the the municipality really wants to really wants to encourage uh, homeowners to upgrade their piping system at some 4,400 uh, euros uh, investment cost. So here's an, uh, an investment opportunity for anyone who can ha help have this uh, done. There's money to be saved for the municipality and uh, services to be offered to private homeowners of St. Petersburg, Florida. Challenge number eight. In Western Cape, South Africa, there's a need to build new sustainable communities uh, instead of the informal settlements no, known as townships. So there, there are public grants to actually make new communities or settlements uh, develop with livelihood, with services, school, education, healthcare, and so forth. Uh, and in, in one case, there's actually 8,000 uh, housing units uh, to be built and public grants to be, uh, to be uh, explored to do this. Uh, 60 million euros in potential government grants available to do this uh, at this moment. Number nine, we're back in Sweden and uh, the regional healthcare system of, Sa of Skåne. For, for kidney patients that need dialysis, uh, the suffering and the cost is, is huge. Uh, or it's huge for the healthcare system, suffering for the patient. For anyone who can avoid, any patient in the risk zone that can avoid having dialysis, the regional healthcare system would save 50,000 euros per year. So anyone who has a good idea or can contribute to help patients in the risk zone of, of becoming chronic patients, finding out earlier before they actually become chronic patients, has um, has reason to explore this opportunity. Challenge number 10. Healthy groundwater in Lusaka. So groundwater needs to be protected, uh, otherwise you risk outbreaks of diseases. In Lusaka last year, there was an outbreak of cholera in the water system and it cost the society 7.3 million euros to, uh, to get back to normal. Uh, and lots of lives and health risks. Uh, this was all caused by uh, an unsustainable garbage situation and some other risks of con that contaminated the groundwater with, with diseases. So if this can be avoided, if you have technology, if you are a stakeholder in this uh, and can help Lusaka City avoid the next cholera epidemic or outbreak, that would be worth 7.3 million euros at least for the city. Challenge number 11. In Singapore, they are, as in the rest of the world, facing uh, an aging and growing population. So the, the number of uh, older uh, residents are expected to double within until 2030. And that is uh, a difficult situation to sustain on the taxpayers' money that, that they have available. They are efficient today, but they still have an unsustainable uh, situation coming. So they are looking for and have governmental programs uh, looking for how to uh, make life easier in the homes of elderly uh, and also treatments that can actually help elderly in their everyday life. There's also a digital program that uh, wants to turn citizens smarter by digital uh, aid in Singapore. Um, and uh, if you have anything to do with this, uh, you should definitely look into how you can uh, provide value in Singapore. Two billion euros in a national program. Uh, 
Challenge number 12, climate positive cement into food. That's a, that's a cool one. So the cement industry is known for, uh, for being responsible for climate uh, emissions, five to six percent of the world's climate emissions. This initiative is actually by the cement industry to capture the carbon dioxide they emit while uh, making cement and using that to grow algae. So here's an opportunity and this pilot project is happening in Morocco by Heidelberg Cement. Uh, in, in a few years time they will have scaled the, the operation to 400 hectares of algae uh, uh, plantations in, in the Moroccan desert, uh, producing some two 200,000 tons of dry algae protein, uh, representing a business value of uh, 400 million euros per year. So if you uh, are in the food business or feed business, then I suggest you take a look at how to make use of dry algae uh, from the cement industry. Challenge number 13. In northern India, there's um, a lot of burning of crops and that is one of the big reasons why uh, there's such a, a bad problem with air pollution. These particles uh, and certain particles are a danger to the health So, uh, and it's also actually a climate threat because uh, the soot itself it lands on snow and thereby uh, decreases the ability for the snow to reflect sunlight, so it melts faster. But also, 200,000 lives are expected to be saved if open burning can be abolished by 2050. That represents a societal value of around 70 million euros per year. Challenge number 14. In Sao Paulo, they have uh, enormous potential to turn bio waste into biogas. So much that in the state of Sao Paulo they have the opportunity of actually providing millions of homes with electricity and heat. 600,000 normal cubic meters of biogas can be produced from the sources of municipal waste and sewage and also uh, agricultural waste. Anyone who can do this and turn it into electricity or gas can turn it straight into the existing grid and make 22 million per year, potentially, uh, in revenues. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Challenge number... <laughs> Challenge number 15. In Lund, the European Spallation Source is uh, a source of enormous amounts of excess heat. So colliding protons into a, uh, a tungsten core is producing enormous amounts of heat when it emits neutrons. This heat is turned into a low temperature district heating system where the energy companies available or uh, active in the, in the area of Northern Lund uh, actually take care of it. But there's so much excess heat, low temperature excess heat, that they don't know really what to do with it. So here's an opportunity for anyone who wants to use low temperature, that is 25 to 40 degrees centigrade of uh, excess heat, at a very low price for the benefit of uh, growing things, crops or animals or, or, or farming uh, something else, or heating uh, infrastructure, roads or buildings for that matter. Um, Look into that if you're into heat. And finally, challenge number 16. Tampa Bay area, with its 700 miles of shoreline, is by the World Bank uh, considered to be one of the 10 most uh, at-risk areas in the world when it comes to uh, hurricanes. Uh, luckily, they have been avoided uh, by the major hurricanes lately, but if they were to be hit by a Katrina-sized hurricane, they would suffer $156 billion of damages, according to a Boston consulting agency. Now, uh, the citizens and the municipalities of uh, the Pinellas County in Tampa, the Tampa Bay area is looking for new ways to 
to uh, secure property and to uh, to create a safe environment uh, if a hurricane were to hit. So opportunity to be had to the value of uh, around 500 millions of reinvestments necessary if, if this would happen. Tampa Bay area, Florida.